Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing all right. Well, it's Monday, isn't it? Start of another week. Let me know in the comments what you're up to and that everything's all right with you guys. And uh, thank you as always for your support for the channel. We're very slowly creeping towards 80,000 subscribers. I can feel it in my water and it's all great. And I appreciate the support. Well, I've said many times, haven't I, that when you stick yourself in public, doesn't matter what it is, whether it be someone on a camera recording a video, or in politics, or on the news, or you're, or you're some kind of celebrity, there's, there's always issues with the messaging. You have to get the messaging right. You have to be seem to be lighter than light, because otherwise, if you've got any skeletons in your closet, or if you've got anything hidden in your past that you don't really want to come into the public domain, it can really bite you in the arse later on. Don't know if you agree with that. Well, there's a lot of controversy at the moment surrounding the Reform Party. Now, you know my opinion with regard to politics, with regard to the whole establishment, it's mired in controversy, scummy, horrible things and uh, backhanded deals. And you see it all in the news all the time. I'm not saying anything that hasn't already been outed. And I can name a certain politician that's in a little bit of trouble at the moment over something to do with property tax. Google it. Well, we need some kind of reformation of our political system we need change that much is certain and the one that is making the most noise at the moment is the reform party reform uk and as you are well aware i have quite a close working relationship with a member of reform now there's a lot of videos out in the public domain about richard tice you know people being critical about richard tice i've been critical about richard tice uh, in my time where he appears to do certain things or, or you know the media makes it look as if he does certain things and it doesn't really resonate with the core voters that are looking to reform uh, you know conservatives are the homeless disenfranchised voters are the homeless people looking for some kind of purpose and means by which in uh, Lee Anderson's words we can get our country back well, another controversy that's come up recently is to do with the candidates that are being selected by reform to stand uh, in parliamentary elections or by-elections. So like PPCs, they call them prospective parliamentary candidates, and my friend is one of them. Now, when you're in a position where you're going to be representing a political party, in this case reform, it doesn't matter whether you're Tory or Labour or anything else, you are held to a certain set of standards. You are held to standards of the party that you are representing in that you have to conduct yourself in a certain way, you have to watch what you get involved in, and at the end of the day you have to do your due diligence with regard to what you get involved in. I, I think these are all pretty fair statements, don't you? And if you fall short of those standards, then you're out. There's a candidate uh, that was going to be standing in the Lewis by-election uh, coming up fairly soon. And he has fallen foul of, you know, not upholding expected standards. He's out. Now, him, and I think there's about two or three others have all fallen foul of this, where their social media and search engine history have been looked at, and it's been deemed that they've made what you would class as inappropriate comments about a certain demographic, going back quite a considerable amount of time. And it's not gone down too well with the management or the leadership of Reform UK. They've been out in their ear. At the end of the day, if you don't 
conform to the standards of which are expected of you, you are out. Now, the interesting reaction to this is this statement here by this candidate. They've said that it's quite obvious that hope not hate are pulling the strings at Reform UK. To that, Richard Tice has said, utter bollocks. You didn't toe the line, so you were out. And unlike other parties, you were out very quickly. It seems to be that this is the go-to, hope not hate. This is who apparently is running things and calling the shots in the background. And that's what the media, that's what other people have clutched onto. And that seems to be the go-to. Now, what do you think? Do you think there's some substance in this? Or do you think that it's sour grapes speaking and they really should have shut their mouth and minded their P's and Q's? It's a very dangerous time in our politics, in our national life, because we are looking for an answer. We are looking for change. And a lot of people are trusting in and looking to reform for that change. And when you see stuff like this, it does worry you. It does. And we've got to try and see through the media, well, bullshine, I suppose, and try and determine the truth of all these things. I've looked into this organisation myself, seen what they're all about, and somebody sent me some very interesting information. I've also asked for a statement from Reform UK via my contact to hear what they have to say, and I'll bring that to you as soon as I get it in another video, of course. In the meantime, as always, let me know what you think. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share my stuff, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo!